Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe and today is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit fun. We're gonna be making three different DIY hair masks uh, to make your hair nice and soft and moisturized and feeling good and feeling healthy and just feeling all right, happy in your little hair's heart. So about these three DIY hair masks, we're gonna uh, start out with the most simple, the most basic that anyone can do. Uh, then we're gonna go up a level, take it just one notch, you know, a little bit. You need a couple more ingredients involved. And then for the final one, we're just gonna go for like full on uh, DIY hair mask. Be using avocados, eggs, honey, stuff like that. And with that said, we gotta go shopping, get our ingredients. And also I wanna hear from you guys if there's anything that you already do to obtain healthy hair or to make your hair a little bit healthier. What is it? What's your regimen? What do you do putting your hair and whatnot? Let me know down below. As for now, it's time to go off to the stores and get our stuff. All right, so we're here in front of the store where we're gonna buy all of our stuff. I've got my list of what we need. Need some avocado, some eggs, some honey, some coconut oil, etc. Gonna go in, get all of our stuff, uh, take it back home, cook it up, put it in our hair. So let's go. So we need some of this right here. You want to make sure it's extra virgin olive oil. None of this olive oil that's already been used or whatever. I want to make sure they're free range because that means the chickens were happy. Right, boom. Eggs, olive oil. That's like two out of the five or six things we need. Uh, coconut oil. Also extra virgin, you know, that just means it's unrefined, unrepressed, all the goodies are still in it. Right, avocado was the last thing that we needed. Boom, we got it. I think we got everything we need, so we're gonna go on and get out of here. All right, we are back home. Um, and here on the table, this is everything that we're gonna need to make um, all three of these hair masks. The first one, like I said, back at the office is gonna be the, the easiest out of the three. Anyone can do this because it only requires one ingredient, a hair oil of your choice. So I've got two, you guys probably already know. Argan oil is a solid option that I go to very often. And then this is another one. Uh, called Hallelujah Hair Oil that has a bunch of different oils blended together. Now the point that I'm getting at, usually these oils are used, you know, you use a couple drops of these in damp hair before you blow dry your hair. All we're gonna do is take a bunch more than a couple drops, uh, two, three, maybe even four pumps, put that in your hand, spread that around, apply it to your hair, uh, and you can just leave that in overnight and that in itself is a pretty good hair mask because you're using a lot more than you normally would. So you're really saturating your hair with these healthy oils. Now you can do this with argan oil, like I said, but um, if I'm gonna be using this kind of like a treatment, like a hair mask, personally, I'm gonna be using something like this since it is a blend of a bunch of different oils. Each of these oils kind of provides a different benefit. So the fact that this one has like five or six different oils in it, means that uh, I'm getting benefits from all sorts of different angles. So uh, I'll try to find a couple, links down below. If you only have access to argan oil, still a really good oil for your hair. Just drench it in argan oil, leave it for uh, a minimum of 25 to 30 minutes. If you can leave it overnight, that's even better. Hair mask number one, complete. All right, we're on to stage two. A little bit more effort is involved in this one, but not that much more. These are still pretty common. Almost every household has these ingredients. Once again, we'll start off uh, with a base of a hair oil. So argan oil, uh, my other favorite, hallelujah hair oil, doesn't really matter. That'll be the base. Pick one of those. Then we're gonna take some extra, I, I made this one up by the way, but it still works because these are all really good stuff for your hair. So this one is a uh, extra virgin olive oil. We'll talk about the benefits of this in a second. But boom. It's important to get the extra virgin uh, coconut oil or even olive oil because that means that they haven't been uh, processed. They're completely unrefined. All of the natural goodies are still in them. All those natural goodies are good for your hair. Third ingredient, extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to combine all of these together. I'm going to start out with the coconut oil. It is pretty cold and it's pretty solid. So this needs to be melted down. We can do that in the microwave. So in terms of amount, uh, I say just eyeball it. It doesn't really matter. We want a generous amount. I've got this. I might add a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. 
Uh, and I'm pretty much just making enough for one hair mask. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna heat this up for just a little bit, get it soft, get it uh, to a point where I can stir it around, and then we'll add the other oils. Almost. Just a little tiny piece, but that doesn't matter. Next up, uh, I'm gonna grab the oil that I'm wanting to use. Again, I'm gonna be pretty generous. Take a couple pumps. Just gonna mix that in a little bit. And the final ingredient is olive oil. Again, extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's completely unrefined and unprocessed. Gonna put a finger, how do you do it? Your thumb. Yeah. Just gonna do a little bit of this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Make sure it's measured extremely precisely. So one thumb and a this is health and moisture in a pot, a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in here to store. And that's going on my head in a bit. All right, so let's talk, um, or give a couple reasons as to why you might wanna use this stuff. The whole point of most hair masks is to restore dry, damaged hair, add in a bunch of moisture. And that's basically what we're doing with all three of these. And then when it comes down to the certain ingredients, each of them provide a different type of benefit. The first oil that I used um, was again the, it was the Hallelujah Hair Oil, which is a blend of different oils. Basically, it says it's for dry or damaged hair. Now, got my notes on these other things that we added in there. Coconut oil is also a really good oil just to use on its own for moisture. Coconut oil for hair keeps it moist and soft and prevents hair breakage because of its high moisture retaining capabilities, all right? That keyword moisture coming back in there. Since coconut oil is loaded with fatty acids, it penetrates the hair more deeply than regular conditioners, leading to beautiful, soft, silky, shiny hair. That's why you wanna use coconut oil, all right? The abundance of antioxidants in extra virgin olive oil, remember once again, extra virgin, leaves the scalp healthier and may reduce the damage done by hair care products. So the idea here, uh, of course, is that we're combining all of these into the same pot. So this is one little jar of super nutritious stuff for your hair. All right, guys, welcome back to season three, uh, episode seven. Now we're on to the final DIY hair mask. The, uh, the biggest deal one, this is the one that will require a little bit more effort. This is also the one that will provide, yield the biggest results. So this isn't something that you wanna do um, that often. So what we're dealing with here, we've got one avocado, two eggs. We've got three eggs, but we're only using two of them. We are going in with coconut oil. I've already taken the liberty to preheat uh, one tablespoon, so one tablespoon of coconut oil. This is something that you don't sleep in overnight. This is more for like a half hour to an hour in your hair, wash it out, you'll feel so nice. So we've already got the coconut oil, we've got a tablespoon of that. We're gonna go in with uh, two eggs now. We're not cooking, so this doesn't have yep. to be perfect. Almost. Now, avocado. avocado. Wait, the avocado! The easiest way to take the pit out, tip it upside down, <laughs> it falls right out. There we go. Now we're not cooking this avocado, so we don't have to make it look pretty. So that makes my job easier. Instead, I'm just gonna chop it up. How do people make guacamole? What if I just grab it? Oh yeah. Oh, this is nasty. Here's the hair mask. It's just a nice, you know, thick, clumpy consistency. All right, I figured out what to do. You get someone else who, who like actually has used the kitchen before. I think it needs to be blended. Yeah. Want a hug? No. 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 Come on. Come no. On. Come on. We've got the coconut oil. You put the lime in the coconut. We've got the eggs, we've got two eggs, and we've got an avocado. But we're gonna add our last ingredient, which is, is the honey. Mmm, that smells nice. Mmm. That's a hot one. So, uh, one tablespoon is required, just like the coconut oil. Ooh. Mix it, mix it real good. And then we're gonna blend it. But the question is, will it blend? That is the question. Coconut 
Gate Total. Be totally ready for life. All right, so nice and easy. Um, this is gonna be more than enough for one application. Just look at all of this. This was meant to be easy. So let's go ahead and talk about what we've made here. We've got <clears throat> avocado eggs, honey, coconut oil. Now, as for avocado, avocados help rejuvenate and moisturize the scalp. They have a rich source of proteins, amino acids, and vitamins. Avocado helps soothe the scalp and promote long, strong, healthy hair growth. Next, we got eggs. Eggs are rich in vitamins A, D, and E, proteins and fatty acids. As your hair is mostly made of protein, this extra boost to the hair leaves it feeling healthy and restored. On top of being delicious when cooked to an omelet, it's also a great natural conditioner. So eggs have that benefit of that added shine and a healthy glow that non-dry hair looks like as a normal healthy hair. We already talked about coconut oil, so you can go, go back if you missed that. And not as for the honey, the benefits of honey are endless. First, honey is great for retaining moisture in your hair as it is a natural humectant. All right, this means that it sucks moisture into the hair and prevents it from escaping. This is especially great if you have dry hair and need an extra boost of moisture and hydration. Honey is also an em em emollient, which helps smoothen and soften your hair and brings back any lost sheen and shine to your hair. In other words, all this stuff, the point is getting your hair back to being healthy, getting moisture and hydration locked into your hair. I was gonna have a third one, but I can't think of it. It's just good for your hair, okay? Put in your hair for like, Half an hour to an hour. Now back to you, Joe, at the office. Thank you, Joe from the house. So yeah, those are three pretty easy hair masks that you can do if you wanna boost some moisture, boost some health. But anyways, all three can be found in the description down below if you wanna uh, try this stuff out yourself. I recommend it, it'll make you feel nice inside and up here. With that said, guys, thanks for checking out this week's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I like that. Subscribe if you're new for more men's hair stuff, men's lifestyle stuff. You know, you get it all on the Blue Mon channel. I'll see everybody next time.